Hi, welcome to the next and the last training session on the new GL accounting. Today we'll be going through the unit testing whether where we will be doing the various transaction postings and we'll look whether all the configurations we have covered in the last uh, many training sessions have been successful or not. So we have already taken up all the configuration steps in the last many training sessions where each and every step with respect to the configurations have been taken up, have been explained and have been configured with practically in the SAP system. So let's see how we can go for the unit testing part and what are the different transactions we will be going up with. So we will be first going for posting a GL document with FB50 and then we will also be doing GL document for ledger group as well which is FB50L then displaying the document, displaying the GL balances, display GL line items and then process parked GL document for ledger group and at last enter general posting for ledger group FB01L. So these are some of the unit testing transactions which we will be looking for and once we will be covered with the unit testing we will be moving with few of the new general ledger reports as well in the SAP system. So let's see with one by one let's come up with the unit testing part. So first we will be going for posting a GL document whether we will be looking after how the document can be posted in the SAP system with respect to the transaction FB50. So moving on to the SAP screen FB50 enter as you can see the screen is there on you and you can see the, the heading being reflected to you enter GL account document where first you need to take the date so the date will be suppose I am taking upon 01062015 you can have the reference. Reference basically refers to the invoice number and if you want you can put certain document uh, header text as well like I am taking up as new GL testing and then we can go and we can select our GLs. So now one thing more which we need to take up is that you just need to take care that your company code should be right. So you can see over here the company code reflecting is wrong. So to change the company code you need to go to switch company code this is the option and it will ask you for the company code so selecting the company code 1200 enter and you can see now the company code has been changed now taking the date so we need to select the document date then we need to take the currency and then the posting date then the reference reference refers to the invoice number then the document header text and now we can move to the GL account. So here we need to select the GL account. So for that we can go for function for key on the keyboard which will give you the whole list of GL accounts. So that is it being over here. Now suppose I take the expenses like I took the salary account and the salary account is debited with suppose ten thousand dollars and then on the credit side I would be taking the bank so suppose I take the bank account and the bank is credited with the same value now moving up to the next is we need to put the text over here so I took it as test as I am just going for a testing of this and if you have a business area you can select the business area over here so suppose the business area is 1210 then we can move to the cost center so to cost center we need to go to select the F4 key to get the list of cost centers enter So there is a cost center you can see production and admin transport. So this is for admin and this is for production. 
so suppose I take it as for admin transport the cost center has been taken and now enter okay it says the period is not open okay so let's open the period slash OOB52 this case So now we can move again, enter. So now you can see over here, entered. Now we have put all the input on the screen to you, everything. And we can go and we can simulate the document posting. So you must have to take care that you need to suppose to put the, select the GL, then you have to select the business area, the cost center for posting. If you don't take it correctly, the system will give you errors. So simulating the document, as you can see now, I have clicked on simulate and the system is processing you on the bottom and it, it simulated you. Simulation basically refers to a preview of the document before posting the document into the SAP system. So if you find that this entry is okay, you can go and you can post the document. So suppose I select and I post it. So I clicked onto the post and you can see now at the bottom the transaction is processed. It's been processed and we can find the document number on the bottom. The document 1000000 was posted in the company code 1200. So this is the document number which we have covered with so we have posted a document and now let's have a display of the document what actually been posted. So to display the document we need to go to FB03. So let's move on to the slash NFB03 enter. So you can put the document number here, the company code and the fiscal year 2015 and enter. So as I entered, you can find the document on the screen to you. So this is the document which was posted and you can find over here that the document number is there, the document date is there, the posting date is there, then the reference is there and you can find over here the GL number which has been debited and which is credited. The posting key 40 refers to debit and the 50 refers to credit. And now you can see the amount $10,000, $10,000. The cost center is there and the profit center is also there. So once you have saw this, you can see over the heading display document, the data entry view. So this screen which is coming on the screen to you is basically refers to as the entry view. The entry view is the one which is the different part of the document which is posted. At the back of that, what are the GL, what are the sub GL and GL assigned is not reflected. The different GL related to the sub ledger is not reflected on the screen in the new view, in the entry view part. If you want to see the general ledger view, as we, if you remember the last training session, we defined document type for entry view, for general ledger view. So there are two views of a document always. One is entry view. And the another is you can see over here general ledger view. So if you click on to the general ledger view, you find this is your general ledger view on the screen. And you can see the display heading over here as well. Document display, general ledger view. So the general ledger view shows you the general ledger part where you find line items, again the GL number. So you must have to be very clear that Entry view shows you the ledger, the sub ledger accounts, but the general ledger view will always reflect you the ledger or the account number, which is basically been used for financial statement preparation or trial balance. And even you can find over here, the ledger group is blank. So this is how you can display your document with MB03 screen. Now, one important part in this case to be understood is, the, the transaction which we used FB50 is used for posting documents or transactions for 
all the ledgers whether it may be a leading ledger or a non-leading ledger when we use the transaction fb50 it posts the document to all the ledger irrespective of the leading or non-leading so this particular document number which we posted just now is posted in all the ledger accounts you will find these in all the ledger account in the SCP system but at times it happens that with respect to the different policies different accounting standards you don't have to do certain transaction in all the ledger account that particular has to be taken impact in a particular accounting standard like for example if you go for US gap and for IFRS there could be certain differences where there could be certain impact will go on the IFRS but certain transaction doesn't have any impact on the US gap side so in those cases I need to take the impact of a particular transaction only in the IFRS transaction IFRS ledger not in the US gap ledger so if I have to post transaction to any one of the ledger group how I can do that you cannot do that with the particular screen the particular transaction you cannot do this with FB50 so that is why there is a different transaction that is posting GL document for ledger group now GL document for ledger group re basically refers to that this particular transaction is used for posting transaction to one specific ledger group it could be a leading ledger it could be one of the non-leading ledger it's up to the requirement in which ledger the particular transaction has to be posted so how we can do that let's see we need to go to the transaction F B 50 L so you can see on the screen for your reference I am again executing the transaction F B 50 L is the transaction enter and you can see now on the screen that the heading itself indicate enter GL account document for ledger group so the difference between the FB 50 which we just done in the last part and the screen over here on this transaction the difference basically is the ledger group this in that screen there was no option or no field for ledger group because in that screen in FB50 whatever transaction are posted it is posted to all the ledger account related to the company code but in this case you can post it to one specific ledger account like I want a particular transaction to be posted only to the general ledger ledger group sorry to the ledger group which we have defined like A2 I want only the impact to be taken only to A2 and you can put the reference number you can put the heading over here and then we can go and we can post a transaction suppose so I am taking again the salary account is debited and the bank gets credited but now the amount I am taking up over here you need to take care of that that is 50,000 and we can now go to put the business area if you wish to business area is not a mandatory fill so this is how I have entered the details so now on the screen as we fill the input and entered you will find an error is coming on the screen it says posting to GL account with open line item management are not permitted so that that is again one of the concern that whenever we go and post for one of the specific ledger group any of the specific ledger group the system will not allow you to post for those ledger which are open item managed that means that they are they are used for clearing activities and that is why you need to change the GL now to someone which has got without open item managed so suppose I have taken these two transactions now and you can find over here that I have debited the salary GL with 
$50,000 and I have credited the rent GL with $50,000. So what I am doing is I am posting a journal voucher in between themselves. And now once we have done this, you can find the screen over here and you can see the ledger group is used as A2. That means this particular transaction will be taken up only for A2 group. A2 basically refers to IFRS. That means this particular transaction will have an impact on only on the IFRS reports and IFRS accounting standard. So now we can go and we can simulate the particular document and you can see once I have simulated the document has been reflected to you on the screen and then once this has been done you can select post and the document will be posted. As you can see the document number is generated 1000 was posted in the company code 1200. If you want to see this particular transaction now So to display this particular document now, we need to go to again the transaction FB03 the same way as we have looked for that and you can see the screen will be reflected to you and in that you can find the ledger group A2 has been reflected to you. Even in this particular document, you can also see that the document first screen is the data entry view and even if you want to go and have a look of the ledger view it will show you the ledger view so that is about how and you can see when the ledger group has been mentioned specifically A2 that means the transaction which we have used so this way you can also have a ledger general ledger view of the document as well so that is all about the the how you can go and post a document for a particular ledger group or you can say for a particular non-leading ledger or a particular leading ledger part. So it will be specific to that particular ledger only and it will not have an impact on all the ledgers in the system. So we have done with the FB50, we have done with FB50L, we have seen the FB03, how the document is displayed, how the interview has been looked after and how the, the general ledger view has been looked. Now let's show you how the splitting is done as well. So just for concern because you should know how a document splitting works. So let's show you a splitting case. So let's post one more transaction looking after how uh, the splitting works in the system. So or we can take a different way FB60 posting a vendor invoice for the company code. So let's select the vendor. So selecting a vendor then taking invoice date posting date you can take the reference over here and then we can take the amount suppose I have taken $10,000 and you can have your text over here now I am taking an expense deal with amount and I am taking up now the business area and over here I am taking the cost center now the next one more expense jewel I am taking that is uh, for $5,000 a different expense from the same vendor with a different business area and a different cost center So now this time I would be taking the cost center over here. So this is how I am going to post a document, a vendor invoice basically. And this will give you a further more uh, uh, practical view on the enter, entry view and the general ledger view as well as the splitting part. So now simulating the document. And you can see now the business area changed to OK, enter. 
all right it says you can see now the posting is only possible with a zero balance why because in the ledger config we made that the zero balance is a mandatory that means the debit should be equal to the credit so now it has been made and you can see now simulating the document you can see the document has been simulated and we can now go and post the document okay it gives an error so let's fix it up because the KR document type is not defined to the ledger A1 because in the ledger A1 we define only one document type so you need to define all the document types with respect to the business transactions so now moving on and defining the ledger in A1 KR so for that we need to go to new entries KR so that is what we did for A1 similarly you need to do for the other ledger that is A2 as well you need to maintain the vendor invoice document type KR for all of these but the number range should be different you have to take care the sequencing has to be different so once we have done this now we can go back close it and now we'll simulate and post again the document and now going and click on the post option and you can see now the document has been posted as on the screen now let's have a look of this particular document how it has been reflected so let's display the document which has been posted you can see on the screen now over here you can have a look that this is now again the entry view of the document where there is a vendor this vendor account number over here 4000001 is the vendor code number this is not a ledger account this is not an account number if you want to know that this particular vendor code is assigned to which of the ledger then you can go to this general ledger view and you can find that this is the ledger account which has been assigned to that particular vendor master code so we, what we saw is that the entry view reflects you the entry view reflects you only the the main screen which includes the account as well as the sub account but where if, if you go to the general ledger view the general ledger view account will always show only the account numbers account number means the GL number that is it and even on the other side you can see the splitting has been done and the document splits accordingly so even on the other ledger side you can go and you can select the leading ledger and you can see the details over here it will be the same whether for all because we we used uh, the transaction which affect all the ledgers in one go so you will find the same thing over here on the screen so this is how you can have a look a better look now moving to the next is display GL balances now for GL balances there are two different transaction code in this the one is FAGLB03 and the another is FS10N. Now, the first one is the new transaction code as per new GL accounting. Whereas, if you talk about FS10N, that is an old ledger, old account, or old transaction. So, if you want to look this particular first GL transaction FAGLB03, let's see on the SAP system FAGLB03 enter you can see this shows you the GL account balances so whichever account number you want to see the balance for you can take that particular GL over here and you can have your balances to be checked suppose I am checking for this particular GL account number execute and you can see now that the value has been reflected to you so there is no transaction in this particular case in this particular GL similarly you can check for many more GLs over here on the other side like from and to range can be given and can execute it and then 
you can find again that there are certain transactions being taken place in the third period. So this is the first transaction that is FSGLB03. FS10 N is nothing but the same transaction. There is no difference at all in FS10 N and FSGLB03. It's very much similar, the same way of execution, there is no difference at all. But the difference is the FAGL03, GLB03 is the new uh, transaction code as per the new GL accounting, whereas FS10N is the old transaction code. Now moving to the next is display GL line items. Now in this also FAGL03 is the new transaction code for the old transaction FBL3N. If you have SAP knowledge or you would have uh, gone through the previous uh, different topic trainings of uh, GL accounting, you would have already gone through this particular transaction FAGLL03 or FBL3N. So the first one is the new transaction code and the second one is the old transaction code. The second one is dependent on the old table and the first one is dependent on the total table which is used in the new GL accounting. So if you want to see the report, even you can execute that FAGLL03, enter and then you can take the GL number and even if you don't know the GL number, you can select it as open item, you can select it from all, in all you can give the date range from which to which date you want to see or you want to have a look of the different line items of the GL and even we can execute it for all the GLs in one go as well. So let's execute it. So you can see now the document, the ledger line items have been reflected to you. So the first one is your bank account, city bank. Now this red belongs to the open item, this green belongs to the cleared items. If you go down, similarly you will find the second GL bank HSBC got different transactions in the open item as well as in the green part that is the cleared item. Similarly got the cash account and in that there is a tick mark. Tick mark and the red and green differences, the, the GL which has got red or green sign on the starting column basically refers to open item management whereas tick mark means that that particular GL is not an open item management. So this is FB FAGLL03 and you can have the details of the line items. Similarly, the same transaction FBL3N has been done and it works similarly the same. There is no difference at all. You can go and you can execute the same thing and in fact you will get the same details but in some cases it is preferred to use the new transaction code because that is much more uh, foolproof, there are much more extra fills in them, they will give you much more data as well as more information with respect to the various transactions in the SAP system. So that is about the display GL line items. For more these two reports we have covered more on the GL accounting training session part which you can go through. Now moving to the next is process parked GL document for ledger group. Now again a parking of GL document is also done that has been discussed uh, and been covered in the GL accounting part. We will not discuss that. So if you want to park any of the GL document, parking means basically you don't want to post that particular transaction or the document but you have already input a lot of information in that particular for that particular document but now going back will delete all those information so what you do is you want to park that document so that later on you can come back to that document and can do the needful changes and can post those document so that is basically refers to parking park GL document now in this case parking GL document for ledger group means that you want to park the document for in a specific ledger group only you don't want it to be done for all the ledgers like uh, we we posted in FB50 for all the ledgers over here you want only for one particular ledger parking of GL documents should be done. 
So for doing that, there is a transaction FV50L. So you can go to that. Let's see how. Slash in FV50L. Enter. You can put the date over here. You can take the ledger name over here, ledger group as maintained. So that is what you can take up over here. You can take the reference and then you can take the GL numbers on the screen. And accordingly, the same way the transaction need to be posted. But in this particular transaction case, you will not be able to post the transaction. Why? Because this is basically the parking, not the posting. So that is why you will find on the screen that this is not a park, not a save or post option. This is basically a parked document option. So once you put this information and you simulate it, enter, you will find the document on the screen. But still, if you have any doubt, you can click on to this option park. So the same park over here now it will not save the document but if you click on to this park you can see now that once I click on to the park the document was parked you can see on the bottom footnote document 1001 for company code 1200 was parked so what happened when you park a document a document number is generated but that document number does not impact your financials you does not impact any of the reports in the SAP system basically because the parking concept is used so that you can put your inputs later on you can confirm and you can post that particular parked document so that is how you can park the document if you want to display the park document you can go to display and you can find that on the screen the document has been reflected to you and in that you can find this ledger group over here as well so in this way you can go for parking of GL document for a specific ledger group in the SAP system. So once you are done with this, so we are done with the all these first parts. Now the last one is enter general posting for ledger group. So again general what we have covered in FB50 the same if you have worked on SAP you may have worked on FB01. So FB01 is used for posting transaction to all the ledgers or all the ledger groups basically. But again, if you want to go and post in for a particular ledger, in that case FB01L is used. So once you use L, you can find the extra field gets added to the ledger or to the screen that is the ledger group in this. You can see the document over here, a transaction has been reflected to you. So if you execute the transaction FB01, there is no ledger group as you can have a look. But if you run FB, FB01L, an extra field gets added ledger group. That's the basic difference. There is no other difference than that and that is what you can try at your end and you can execute it and that is all about the unit testing part in the new GL accounting so we have covered these first so many transactions and similarly you can go and you can post this transaction as well it's pretty much similar to FB50 and you you would have already executed FB01 or F-02 that's the same transaction FB01L is all about just you need to select the ledger group in this particular case so that is about the unit testing part now once we are done with this we tested everything everything is working fine the new GL configurations are working fine everything now we'll move on and we'll see how the different new GL reports works in the SAP system so with a high, highly competitive increased global economy and a rapidly changing regulatory landscape have increased the demands on varied reports in the general ledger accounting and related businesses. As a result of which SAP have provided various new reports which is 
demanded across the industries. Fourth looking solutions have been given on the increased standardization of international accounting principles and the need for faster period and closing part. So these reports which has been prepared and been provided by SAP is for making things more faster on the basis of different accounting principles, on the basis of different demands across the industries, at internal levels or at external levels and even these reports help in faster period and closing activities for any companies. So and at the same time these such kind of reports even help in reducing the cost and increased data transparency for the company as the, the, the various uh, people or the users don't have to prepare manual reports going through the Excel or the spreadsheets and working around that. You can get those things directly with just with the, a click of a report now. So moving on to new jail reports. In the new jail reports, we will be covering the various, various reports introduced in the new jail. That is GL account balance new report. Then there is a financial statement actual versus actual comparison can be done financial statement for plan versus actual comparison report financial statement for ledger comparison so in the ledger part you can compare your leading ledger with the, those of the non-leading ledgers and on the basis of that comparisons can be made then there are receivables reports for on the basis of various segments or profit center wise or segment wise reporting or even business area wise reporting can be done. Similarly, there is reports on payables where again the segment reports are available. So we'll be going through these all reports one by one and we'll see how these reports are helpful and how these reports are being executed and the output is being generated with it. So moving up with the first report is GL account balance report. The transaction code as you can see over here S underscore PL0 underscore 86000030. Moving up with the same report in the SAP system. So I am executing the report now. The very first report for GL balances enter. And once we enter, you can see now the screen. Uh, there are huge number of fields which can be fed as per the requirement. What is the requirement? What kind of a reports been needed? What kind of a balances are needed? And accordingly, the report can be executed. So first, we need to go and decide the currency type. And even if you remember, the currency type could be 10, it could be 30, it could be 40. If you could remember, we maintain the various currencies when we define the ledger configuration. So if you need the report on the basis of company code currency, you can select 10. If you need the report on the basis of group currency, you can take 30. If you need the report as per the hard currency, you can take 40. So it's up to you what reports on what parameters you want to execute your report. In normal cases, the report is basically been taken up on the basis of company code currency. So we'll be selecting 10 over here. The next thing is you need to take up the company code for which you want to execute the report. In my case, the company code is 1200. In your case, you can have your respective company code to be taken up over here. Now, moving to the next is the account number. If you want a specific range of account number for which you need the balances, GL balances, you can assign those number from and to or even you can go and select this over here, multiple selection where you can uh, put the uneven number of GL numbers or the account numbers as well. Moving to the next is business area. If you have a business area concept and you want the reports for a particular or the GL balances for a particular business area, you can put the particular business area and on the basis of that, a particular business area report can be generated. If we go for the search options, let's see, there are different business areas as you can see, but which of them is applicable for your company code, you need to know that and that should only be taken up. In my case, suppose I take the business area as 1210 because I want to see just the GL balances for this particular business area the, and it will show me those balances. 
moving down you can run the report as per functional area you can have balances as per cost center you can have balances as per profit center wise as well so it's up to you on which what, what way or what on what parameters you want to have those reports like i want to have the report on the basis of business area so i selected the business area over here now moving down even you have got the option of segment as well so you can have segment wise reporting now moving down you can come down over here you can see now the reporting selections there is a ledger option over here in the ledger you can select your your ledger for which you want to select you want to execute the report for as we discussed there is a leading ledger there is a uh, there is a non leading ledger a1 and a2 this is what we prepared we don't need others to be looked in so you need to decide whether you need to have the report for the leading ledger leading ledger means for the company code for the general local accounting standard of that particular country but in case you need it for non leading ledger you can select that as well so it's up to you on on what parameter you want to have the report normally the report is mostly been taken for leading ledger so we'll be selecting the leading ledger over here as a ledger part then you need to take the fiscal year and now you need to take the posting period so the posting period is for which particular period you want to see or you want to have the balances for the for the gl balances so you can accordingly select the posting period it could be executed for a particular month it could be executed for a quarter it could be executed for a year as well so it's up to you for what period you want to execute it so I, like in my case i am executing it for the whole year so i will be taking the period as 1 to 12 and then you need to select the classical drill down report so this is what the parameters you need to take up of over here on the screen and once you have taken up all this we can go and execute the report and the report will be executed as you can see now i have executed the report and once i have executed the report you can see that the values have been reflected to you on the screen so this gives you the opening balance then this gives you the debit and the credit and then the closing balance at the end so this is how you can execute the report as you can see there is a different balance has been reflected these are the different account numbers and even if you want you can select any of these if you want the breakup of that so to have the breakup you can even select that particular part the gl and then you can go and you can select the cost center or the profit center and that particular gl can be given in the breakup that this particular amount has been taken up to which profit center so if i select the profit center as you can see once it's been broken down on the profit center wise so this is how you can execute your report for new gl balance report where these balances of the reports have been given to you uh, over here on the screen for a particular business area the business area that is 1 to 10 which i have uh, taken up as a selection parameter in the screen so this is how you can execute your report going back now uh, do you want to save no so you can see over here on the screen again that this has been executed for one particular business area so similarly you can also have execute this report on various parameters you can select multiple business areas you can have the report on the basis of cost centers or for profit center or the segments so th these are basic uh, parameters on which uh, every organizations look for their reporting on the basis of profit center or segment or particular business area wise reports so uh, this will give you the gl wise balances for on the parameters which you will be you will be selecting and accordingly the balances of the gl will be will be provided to you so this is all about the gl balance report now we'll be moving up to the next report so the next report is financial statement actual versus actual comparison and the report over here is s underscore pl0 underscore 86 00 0028 so if we move up to this report again the selection parameter you will find in this case 
uh, is also the same the same screen will be reflected to you but the output will be different so again you need to take the currency type the company code and again you need to decide which parameter you want to execute the report for you can execute the report at company code level so the whole company code financials will be reflected to you if you want it for a particular business area you can you can you can take that particular business area as a parameter if you want a particular profit center you can take that particular profit center as a parameter or accordingly you can have any other other field as a parameter as required so suppose I am taking the profit center 1210 to 1230 as the parameter and I want this particular uh, report financial statement to be generated for these three different three business uh, this the range business area 1210 to 1230 and now moving down you need to select the ledger then you need to select the FIS annual representative structure that basically refers to the financial statement structure so what happened is in, in SAP you need to design your FIS structure what is will be your financial annual representative structure will be and in that what GL will be under the head of assets what will be under the head of li liabilities and within liabilities there could be different subheadings and which GL will be under will be covered under which of the of the heading part so that is something a structure which need to be designed and in SAP that we do that by financial statement version so how we do that mapping or grouping of financial statement structure we have covered that in a separate training session so you can go through that particular training session and you will find the financial statement version how it is prepared up so the next thing you need to so over here the financial statement version prepared is 1200 and now moving up to the fiscal year so the fiscal year 2015 I am taking first the period I am taking 1 to 12 so I am making comparison of the whole year with the last year that is 2014 from 1 to 12 or in, fa in fact you can take it from 1 to 3 the first 3 period and you can compare the first 3 period or the first quarter of the last year to the first quarter of the current year uh, and accordingly so once you have taken this parameter you can go and execute the report so execute it as you can see on the screen the report is generated so there is an balance sheet option there is an income statement and there are certain unassigned account unassigned account refers to those accounts which has been created in the system but they have not been put into the structure yet so those those account need to be put in a structure that will be a structure basically is that that particular account will be taken up in a balance sheet or that particular account will go to the income statement or under with which head of the balance sheet so that it need to be assigned so that is why did, that is showing a separate balance of one three three seven four seven eight dollars and on the other side one zero one three one one dollars and you can see the difference between them has been given to you on the last column so over here the first column over here refers to 2015 the first quarter value on the second column it re on the third column it refers to 2014 first quarter value and in the last column it refers to the difference between the two so if you if you expand this balance sheet part over here with this with this summation sign if I click on that it will give you the breakup and once I click on to that you can see the breakup has been provided to you and it says the liabilities is this much and the asset is this much sorry the liabilities in 2014 15 first quarter is this much and then 2014 first quarter is this much and the, the difference has been given to it even if you want to expand this further you can go and expand it further part as well and it will show you that this value comes from the retain earning part similarly you can go to assets assets will give you the current assets then the current asset has got these different headings or structures and within those structures there are different accounts being assigned and those account values are reflected to you on the screen on the right side so if you click on to the bank you will find that there are different banks in it and the total value of the banks been reflected to you on the screen. Mac. 
So you can see now there's Citibank, there's HSBC, there's Citibank main account, outgoing, incoming, and the total value of this is equal to one three nine six three seven eight dollars. Whereas in the last year the value is one zero two zero five zero eight dollars, and the difference between that is three seventy five eight sixty nine dollars. So this is the financial statement where this particular structure which you say which you can have a look of the liabilities assets and balance sheet this is something which needs to be defined it it will not come as a default in the system it needs to be defined with financial statement version in the system similarly this is the balance sheet part similarly you can go to the income statement expand the income statement you will find the expenses the incomes if you expand the expense part you will find the different ledgers from where the expenses have been incurred to and in 2015 2014 and the differences will be provided to you on the last column so you can make the comparisons as a consolidated part you can make the comparisons as a segregated level of the financial statement as well so that is about the financial statement actual versus actual so the column the data over here is actual to actual means you compare actual to the last period you can compare you can compare with the last year you can compare with the last quarter so it's up to you how you want to make the comparison and you want to have the comparison reports from the sap system so this is about the financial statement actual versus comparison report now you can click on to go back and the message will come do you want to save the data first no so this is what the the second report we have covered financial statement actual versus actual comparison now moving to the third is financial statement ledger comparison ledger basically as we discussed refers to the leading ledger and the non leading ledger so if you want to make comparison of your ledgers suppose i uh, you want to make comparison of your leading ledger to the non leading ledger or you want to make comparison of your two different non leading ledgers so as you wish to that ledger comparisons can also be done that is a special report been provided by sap in the new jewel accounting as the concept of ledger been been uh, strongly been function function in this new jewel accounting part so the report over here is s underscore eb5 underscore 0500741 so if you go to this particular report let's execute this enter so you can see now again this are the different parameter the same parameters as has been coming up in all the reports then again suppose i took the currency type as the company code currency 10 then the company code i have taken now i can go you can select other parameters up to you else you can go down and you can select the financial financial annual representative structure that is 1200 in your case you can define something else now over here you need to take the ledger the first ledger which you want and then below it will ask you the comparison ledger so i will be taking is 0l that is the leading ledger then the fiscal year from which you want to compare so i am taking 2014 one okay let me take 2015 then one then 12 so this is what i have taken for leading ledger 01 i am comparing from 2015 period 1 to 12 then now i am moving to comparison ledger so the comparison ledger i will be comparing it with the other non leading ledger only i have no other options because i have got three ledger one is a leading ledger and two is non leading ledger that is a1 and a2 suppose i take a1 for the comparison and the period again i take the same 2015 1 to 12 period so that is it this is the parameter i have taken up over here on the report and now executing the report so once i execute the report you can see now there is a differences that you can find on the leading ledger that is ol you will find the unassigned values 1337478 whereas in the ledger a1 the value is $15000 only similarly if you go and check your balance sheet again in the balance sheet there is a difference 1362478 on the other side on in the ledger a1 there is only this much 
so even if I go back and I do certain more changes to the report and make comparisons suppose I take it only for the one two three for the first quarter maybe the values may not be much that's why so I just took one two three that is first three months for both the ledgers and again I am making the comparison in this case you will find that in the A1 ledger second column there is a zero value that means in the first quarter there is no posting been done in the A1 ledger part so again you can uh, you can make comparisons on the basis of this and now moving up there is no A1 ledger has got no values at all now again moving back let's again make some changes to the report now again I am taking it 1 to 12 and now I am taking up the comparison ledger as A2 as you can check A2 that is IFRS accounting standard and I am comparing it again with the leading ledger executed now again you can see the same change the same thing so same way you can see the balance sheet you will find the comparison between asset and liabilities from ledger to ledger same way you can make comparison within the expenses or the income statement and in the income statement you can find that it has got the same value so this is how you can make comparison of your ledger to ledger as well and that will give you uh, an idea that what is the differences between one ledger to the another ledger how much differences between one accounting standard has got with the another accounting standard for that particular fiscal year because of the changes in the policies on the two different accounting standards or two different standard parts legal requirements so Moving to the next part now is we have covered with the GL account balances, financial statement actual versus actual and then the ledger comparison report. Now moving to the receivables has got now the receivables over here refers to the, the customers from which we receive and again they are different segment wise or profit center profit center wise or business center wise receivables and if you want to check those receivables how we can check those things so you can go to this report enter on it okay it says should the report be imported yes so this is the first time the report been executed that's why it's been asked for reporting importing it and over here you can put the company code and then after company code you can go to you can choose the ledger over here so you can go and click on to the header choose ledger and in case you want a ledger wise report for a leading ledger or a non leading ledger you can select those over here on the screen and that can be taken up over here as well so you can decide your ledger which ledger you want to go for I will be going with 0L and then you can go to this custom selection as you can see over here on the screen custom selection the colored marked and you can go to this and you can assign the profit center or business area on the basis of what you want the report to be executed that can be taken over here on the screen so suppose I execute the report for a profit center 11000 and you can go and save the screen done you can see now one active that means one parameter has been assigned and that has been actively taken if you have got any particular customer you can select that if you don't have the particular customer you can keep it blank and execute the report so it will give you the report for all the customers okay it says the report is being processed by so there is some problem has been processed
so it's been compiling you can see so over here you can find the data that this is the finance customer which has got this much value with the GL number and it has got advance from customer this much so these are the two ledger account for the customer and if you want to see the bifurcation of customer in the ledger account that how much amount came from which of the customer in that case you can go and you can select the GL over here select line so over here you can select you can see now if I click it again it it is getting selected and once you get it selected you, these are the options which will come up to you and you can click on to the customer so if I click on to the customer it took me to the customer part you can see the customer displayed in and the GL has been reflected to you over here on the screen finance customer so it has got only one customer that is Xerox LLC and that has got the total value of $27,900 similarly if you go back and if you want to have a details of advance from customer so how many customers are there from whom you have taken the advances you can again select this part and you can go and click on to the customer and it will give you the customer details so it's the same value and there's only one customer as of now but if you will be working on a live system in a live environment you will find a huge list of customers for the advances part or for the normal customer part so this is how you can execute the receivables report even there are further more reports which will give you more of the benefits in the new GL that is also will go through and will show you on the SAP path how you can you can search for those reports further so this is about the receivable similar to that is the payable report where this very very similar to the receivable you can execute the payable report where you can look after the balances of the suppliers so if I execute the payables report over here on the screen okay it says it doesn't exist so probably the report has not been take not been published yet or maybe there's some problem or I could have taken the wrong report so let, let the payable go off we'll see uh, the payable part also once a while so these are the various new GL reports just to give an idea of what are the various new uh, GL reports are there in SAP and few more are there which can be more helpful to you so how you can go to this because remembering these all transaction name or the report name is very difficult so you can even search these reports within the SAP system so let's see how you can go for and you can search it so first of all you need to go to the SAP start SAP easy access part or the, the same screen will come to you whenever you log in in the SAP system and in this part you need to go to the information system and within the information system you need to go to accounting accounting then financial accounting and within financial accounting you will find general ledger so expanding general ledger you will find number of options there is one is information system and one is information system new so the information system new in consists of the new reports but every report is not new there are certain reports which are new there are certain reports which are old in this so let's see if we open this folder or expand this folder there are five different folders within it the first folder consists of the reports related to financial statements and cash flow statement so if we expand this part we need to go to you can see over here there are different country wise reports as well available and the general report is the one which is used uh, generally by most of the countries company specific so moving to the general expand and if we expand each of these folders now in actual versus actual comparison so this is the report which we discussed earlier uh, s underscore pl0 underscore 86 000028 this is the one which we discussed actual versus actual comparison this is a new report then we discussed about uh, financial statement ledger comparison also 
where you can make comparison of your leading ledger with the non-leading reports which we saw where, while uh, just a while back then you can go to plan and actual comparison also there also you will find the reports this is a new report uh, been provided by SAP then there are cash flows reports but cash flow reports are older ones so we'll not discuss that so these are some of the reports within the general part in the financial statement folder then you can go same to account balances in that you can go to general and then GL account balances you can find certain reports so over here this is one of the report which we discussed GL account balances new the very first report that we discussed um, in today's training session so that is this another report is uh, transaction figure account balances so you can execute this report you can have explore this what it is all about how the balances are how the report has been executed then moving to the next is now a structured account balances again this is a new report structured account balances you can ag again execute this report the parameters are more or less the same which we have already done in most of the reports right now so these are some of the reports for account balances part if you go to line item management we discussed about uh, receivable segment and payable segment so these are the other two reports again the another report helpful is uh, for payable side so if you go to payable this is another report which were, which we were been discussing over here as underscore pco underscore three six zero 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 two one nine so you can execute this report also over here put the company code you can put the selection parameter you can choose the ledger whether you want to run it for the leading ledger or you want to run it for the non-leading ledger part and in this selection custom selections you can select the various parameters on the basis of which you want to run the report so these are the various parameters which has been provided in the new reports so you can have parameters fiscal year document number cost center profit center business area segment whatever parameter you want you can you can execute the report and accordingly the data will be provided to you so you can execute now and once we execute the report it will give you this kind of a output so it basically give you the ledger values so that is what the ledger values 100007 advance to capital vendors is one okay ten thousand dollars and if you go to two zero 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 one it's domestic vendor what has got eight one three six four seven dollars so if you want to see the details of within these ledger how many vendors are there who has consolidated got this much value so if you want you can select that GL over here cancel so you can select the GL over here on the screen and then you can go to vendor and it will give you the breakup of 813 so you can see now the breakup has uh, has been provided it has basically got two vendors TCS and ABB LLC for the GL domestic vendor part so the, it got you got a consolidated GL wise value and then you can select the GL and you can bifurcate the bifurcation as per vendor wise is also available in this part so this is the another report which uh, was been covered over here in the payable segment now moving to the next is no back so these two reports we discussed again the, the this particular receivable profit center report receivable profit center report is that you can execute the report as per profit center wise and you can have the customer balances profit center wise the vendor balances as per profit center wise in these two reports so you can even execute these two reports these two reports are very very helpful in a practical uh, practical scenarios where the the manager or the management needs details for a respective plant uh, or for a particular reason or location and in those cases uh, the the reports for customer 
balance pending or balances to be to be uh, received from the customer if you need those reports aging reports you can get those details from over here from this report so these are the different reports which are there for open items similarly you can explore on the document side these are all older reports no, no new reports are there in them so these are what the various reports are there on the new GL part which you can explore, execute and you can have a look of those in the SAP system. That is all about the new GL reports what we have discussed. So we are nearly uh, have completed the new GL accounting part just to, to give you the small uh, further more overview on the new GL integration part. So the new GL integration basically is that new GL has got integration with the various modules in SAP system. New GL has got integration with the uh, with the sub modules in, in, in SAP FICO, FICO module as well like the new GL has been integrated with asset accounting where the asset accounting has got parallel currencies it has got depreciation areas in parallel and the reports can be generated for various uh, assets reports can be generated on the basis of the uh, the international standards uh, so that is why the new GL has been integrated with the uh, you can say the, the asset accounting part where the depreciation calculation is done real time you don't need to create any batch you don't have to do any manual activities in that the system calculates the depreciation in a real-time basis even if you wish you can execute it manually as well or even later on if you want certain changes to be done the manually changes can also be done but you don't need to go and execute thousands of assets one by one for depreciating them there is a standard transaction and it uh, uh, once the depreciation keys are assigned to the asset master that particular depreciation run transaction executes the depreciation for all the assets in one go in the life system so that is one of the integration with asset accounting similarly new jail is integrated with controlling where in the controlling part you don't need to do the the FICO bank reconciliations in a life system and you don't have to assign any ledger accounts for FINCO reconciliation part whereas in the classical system we need to assign a, a GL account for FINCO reconciliation and even after that in a time to time basis you need to you need to reconcile those things but now SAP has provided you the functionality that you don't have to do any reconciliation of FICO you don't have to assign any GL to the to, for the reconciliation purpose the system will automatically do the reconciliation in a real-time basis so that is another very very important part with integration with controlling area similarly there is integration with consolidation uh, module where the consolidation of data the consolidation for financial statement preparation and all has been done then new GL has got integration with material management where the real-time integration is done and later on the reports and the transactions takes place in the SAP system so huge list of integration is there and the new GL has got very very new functionalities which has made things much more easier much more faster and less time consuming less cost involved in them and had, had become very very efficient for the management to have these reports and uh, it makes things more more simpler in decision making and making it more profitable for the organizations so that is all about the new GL accounting now we have already guided you with all the configurations the unit testing the reports and now the it's up to you how you proceed with it and if you go through with all of these what we have covered you will be an expert in the mutual accounting part so all the best to you thank you